Welcome to Positive Read-Ins. Put down your Cho Nam Ju and your Han Gang. Let the hype fizzle. Let NPR have their parade. They will, and the hype will disappear. And who will be left but the OG of South Korean literature, Hwang Soon Wan. And that is what we're going to be looking at today. Hwang Soon Wan is most famous for his short stories. Uh, this collection here is probably uh, the easiest to get in English. It was translated by Bruce in Ju Chan Fulton. I do not know anything about the Fultons, but they translate a lot of works by Hwang Soon Wan. Uh, and that alone, uh, this work here and the novel, which will be our focus today, uh, a Trees on a Slope. Uh, these two works alone uh, makes, makes what they've done uh, a great service to, to humanity. So go and support them if you can. Hwang Soon Wan's short stories span the 1930s, 40s, and 50s. Uh, in these stories, we can see uh, Korea occupied by the Japanese. Uh, we can see Hwang Soon Wan as a student or inspiration um, that he got as a student in Japan. Uh, and then later uh, in the 1960s, when this novel was published, we can see the uh, post-Korean War Korean society. Uh, we can also see um, how the Korean War has affected characters. This novel here being uh, one of the a uh, few novels or that uh, he wrote, or works that he wrote, that focuses on the Korean War. Today's episode, we'll be looking at this novel here, Trees on a Slope. This unassuming title, almost poetic title, hints uh, at um, hardship, uh, growing against the odds, and that's really what this novel I is about. This novel, as I said, takes place during the Korean War and after. There are three characters in this novel. Uh, Hyun uh, Tae, which sounds a lot like uh, Pyeon Tae, and we can see, uh, which means pervert in Korean, and, and we can see some uh, perverted action from this character throughout. This character is the squad leader. Uh, he's uh, described as being arrogant on the back here. We could also add uh, to this uh, amoral and maybe even uh, sadistic. We have Yungu, who is kind of the steady uh, character through this. Uh, certainly does some, some wrong during the war, but he's the only of, uh, one of the three characters that is able to have a life uh, post-Korean uh, War. And finally, we got Tong Ho, who is the sensitive artist, and uh, he kills himself by the end of the first section of this novel. So this novel is set up in two sections. The first section takes place during the war. Uh, this would be, uh, actually shows some actual fighting, and then this leads into, um, as they're kind of waiting for the armistice to uh, take effect and the war to end. The second half of the novel takes place uh, a few years after that and within Seoul, with these characters, now just uh, Hyun Tae and Yungu, trying to uh, put their lives together and uh, make some kind of future for themselves, but of course having these emotional scars and effects from the war. This novel should be of great interest to anyone who uh, is interested in the Korean War or Korean society uh, during the war and uh, afterwards. There's a lot of insight that can be had through reading this fiction. Uh, on one account, we see kind of the, the harsh, uh, barbaric nature of the war. We see that uh, these characters, especially uh, Hyun Tae and Yungu, are, are commonly going to uh, comfort stations. So these would be uh, brothels that are set up uh, for the soldiers. This is a uh, an issue that's commonly talked about in Korean media today, specifically with the, the Japanese uh, uh, comfort uh, women or comfort stations that they uh, imposed on uh, Korea, but we can also see that uh, the Korean soldiers themselves uh, had these during the Korean War. Uh, also, we see war crimes. So uh, early on, page 14, uh, the, the three soldiers come in contact with a, uh, a woman and her children. This would be um, in, in the, I guess, kind of disputed region between uh, North and South Korea where there's fighting. And uh, the, 
the sadistic kind of twisted uh, leader, Hyunte, takes care of uh, the woman, and I'll just read this part. So, the following day, Hyunte noticed a strange look on Tong Ho's face. Tong Ho's are sensitive artists that gets corrupted during this first part. Uh, Don't give me that disgusted look. You're provoking me. So that's uh, Hyunte talking. What did you do to that woman? Oh, so that's it. Okay, chump, I'll tell you. She wasn't scared like she was in the afternoon. She didn't put up much resistance either. But guess what? When I get up, she grabs me by the hand. Well, I knew what that meant. She's scared and she wants me to stay with her. Can't very well do that, can I? So I got rid of her. Simple as that. So again, the implication there is uh, clearly uh, a war crime. Uh, you know, killed this, this woman after um, sleeping with her uh, from the sounds of it. I think that's what's implied here. Uh, that scene later um, affects Hyunte, right? We, we read Hyunte as maybe this uh, character who's evil, but I think as the story goes on, uh, he does have some redeeming qualities, and again, I think that's a mark of a, of a good writer, and that would be why uh, Hwang Soon Wan is a writer worth reading, because he can find the human uh, qualities in these characters that are, on the surface, pretty, pretty awful. As I mentioned, the novel is split into two parts. The first part, with the war, uh, the big conflict here is really the corruption of Tong Ho, this sensitive... Uh, Poet, poet, as they call him in, in, the, uh, in the novel. Uh, he has a love interest back, uh, back in Seoul. Uh, we get some flashbacks. We find out that that relationship was never consummated, uh, but he um, is, is longing for her, thinks about her, writes to her, her often, uh, and uh, never goes off with uh, Hyungtae and uh, Yungu to these comfort stations and bars uh, where, where, where the prostitutes are. Uh, however, by the end of this, uh, he does get kind of tricked into going, and uh, this creates uh, a, a moral crisis for him that actually leads to his death. Uh, it's actually a, a murder-suicide on his part as he um, falls in love with this um, uh, prostitute who's also hinted at uh, as having a, um, a very difficult life that's been shaped by the war. So we see this part, uh, I'll just read this uh, section here, uh, where this is directly after he has been corrupted. Outside, Tong Ho avoided the room where they had been drinking. So this is again directly after this incident. He left through the plank gate and headed back toward the base. As a cool breeze blew against his face, it occurred to him with certainty that he had just been violated by a woman. It was a ludicrous notion, but he found himself unable to laugh. Instead, he told himself that part of his body was soiled. He stopped, urinated, and attempted to clean himself, but this only made him feel that the filth had spread. He lit a cigarette. After a few puffs, a wave of nausea rose from deep inside him. He squatted beside the road and tried to vomit, but little came up. Fits of wretching shook him all over. And I find this uh, scene here quite interesting because we don't often get uh, a, a, what I think, a realistic portrait of the, the challenges that also face men uh, in, in, in society, uh, especially with, uh, in this uh, obvious um, opportunistic relationship. Uh, this... A woman, this prostitute here, is obviously a victim, uh, but we we often just look at the effects, say, on on that on that one side. But here we we see uh, how how deep it cuts into uh, some of the men. Now, granted, Hyunte, uh, that's not the case, though he is also uh, kind of morally or uh, internally corrupted by this. We don't see that really until. Uh, later on the novel, and of course, he has a tragic ending for himself. Uh, So this, again, leads to uh, the suicide of Tong Ho, uh, murder-suicide. He ends up killing uh, that woman and uh, another man uh, she was uh, with, and uh, that really shapes the the second part, part two of the novel, uh, that takes place in Seoul. In the second half of the novel, we get a lot of death, perhaps uh, 
too many, uh, in my opinion. Uh, this gets us close to being uh, slightly overdramatic in, in ways that uh, I, I, don't, I haven't seen in Huang Sun Wan's short stories. Uh, regardless, uh, I think we get a realistic view, uh, especially of the, the nightlife scenes. There's a really excellent scene uh, in chapter 15 where uh, Hyunte is following a stranger through the, the city. This reminds me of what you might see in uh, Edgar Allan Poe's uh, Man of the Crowd or, um, or Newt Hampson's uh, Hunger. So you got this kind of, this new city, city life and uh, the characters being affected by that. Uh, you get uh, historic references, one to the fact that there was a curfew uh, another we see kind of the semi-police state of the time period where uh, young men would be uh, stopped by police, made sure that they were, uh, that they were in the draft or they, they had served their, their time in the army. If not, they were picked up. Um, a lot of men getting picked up, arrested for things like this. You see some dietary elements and how that's changed. There's a scene here where they're eating sparrows, something uh, I don't think you would find very often uh, today on the streets of Seoul. Um, within this novel, within this section, though, uh, we have a this 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 one scene where they're they're discussing over uh, over drinks, uh, this the fruit trees, and I think here we get uh, a reference to the title "Trees on a Slope," but also this um, this metaphor for what the war might have been. So I'm going to read this part. Uh, so he's talking about, uh, this is Hyunte talking about a meeting that he had with, with um, a guy. This is actually when, when he was arrested uh, for, again, not having his, I think, his uh, ID on him. So he says, uh, it was kind of a rough night, but one good thing came out of it. One of the other guys was a friend of mine who's got an orchard outside of Chaha Gate. He told me an interesting story. He said plants have instincts. Fruit trees, anyway, definitely have an instinct to preserve the species. So when you prune them, what you're doing, what you're actually doing is taking advantage of that instinct. If you don't prune them, you get mostly leaves and less fruit. It's like the tree is thinking, well, since I'm strong and healthy, I can take my time producing. It's only when you prune it that you get it to thinking, damn, they're chopping off my branches. There won't be much fruit. I'd better start producing, keeping the species going. And that's when you get it to bear. Well, with people, it's exactly the same. Generally, you don't find many children in a well-off family, but a poor family will have lots of children. The same instincts at work. Now, how about that? Makes sense, doesn't it? So this is a uh, kind of an, an interesting observation that uh, Hyunte makes, and he talks about maybe going to America and uh, where he's supposed to be going to study. He comes from a well-off family and, and writing some kind of dissertation on this. Of course, that doesn't happen. He ends up, uh, while visiting uh, this, this, the, this brothel uh, bar uh, called... Um, um, Pyongyang uh, house, right? Uh, he, 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 he basically pays money to get this underage uh, girl uh, to, uh, to deflower her, and, uh, and then he um, talks her into uh, or aids her in uh, committing suicide. Okay, so again, um, part of this, this tragedy that we see throughout. But I think that all relates to this scene right here. Um, these characters... Uh, are, are, are under threat because of the war. And we can see that uh, that might be the connection here between this uh, constant killing and fighting and death and also the, the visits to uh, the brothels and the comfort stations and all that, which make up um, a lot of this book and the drinking and, and trying to find meaning uh, within this world. The novel ends with only one of the three characters uh, having a sustainable life uh, post uh, war. This is Yungu who ends up 
start in a, uh, a chicken farm, get in eggs, and essentially picking up some of the mess that Hyunte uh, has left over and also his friend Tongho, who killed himself, particularly dealing with um, uh, Tongho's uh, girlfriend, who is uh, going to be his wife. It's a tragic story. It's a story that uh, meditates on, on war, uh, that meditates on trying to find purpose and uh, trying to find purpose within a city and uh, drinking and pleasure and war and, and trying to make sense of the meaning of life. This novel should be read. It should be better known as with uh, the short stories of Huang Sun Wan. Uh, go out, check them out. He's an important writer and uh, he will continue to be an important writer that uh, people will know about in the future. Thank you for watching Positive Readings. If you enjoyed this, please like it and subscribe.